A central doctrine of biblical Christianity is that God has revealed himself, and he has done so in two ways, both of which we can find in the first chapter of Genesis. The opening phrase of Scripture expresses the first form of God's revelation. In the beginning, God created. Creation itself is God's revelation. It is God revealing certain things to us, which is why we sometimes call this God's natural revelation or God's general revelation. Psalm 19 states, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. This is the natural created order, heavens, skies, what God has made. And as these verses poignantly say, what God has made reveals certain things about him. Creation is God's revelation. It reveals his glory and his handiwork. But then verse 3 of Genesis 1 expresses a second form of God's revelation. And God said... And again, many times in Genesis 1, we find God revealing himself through spoken words. And then in verse 28, after he created Adam and Eve, God blessed them and God said to them. And then in Genesis 6.13, God said to Noah. And in Genesis 12, the Lord said to Abraham. And in Exodus 3, God called to Moses out of the burning bush. And later at the foot of Mount Sinai, God spoke the words of his law to his people. And as Hebrews 1 tells us, long ago at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets, but in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. So God has revealed himself not only through what he has made, his natural revelation, but also through what he has said, what is sometimes referred to as God's special revelation. And many of these words were written down by holy men as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit, compiled into the Holy Scriptures, which Paul says are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. These scriptures being breathed out by God. God has revealed himself, and he has done so both through his natural revelation, what he has made, and through his special revelation, what he has said. I'm Scott Annual, Executive Vice President and Editor-in-Chief of G3 Ministries. For more resources to educate, encourage, and equip you from God's Word, visit g3min.org or download the G3 app.